First and foremost, how nice was it to get a W on Friday? That had to feel great. Oh, yeah, it was definitely a great experience just to get that under our belt, and that's going to hopefully carry us for the rest of the season and just changing how our season's going right now. Okay. Is it a drag when you don't win? Or do you get tired of hearing about it and people talking about it and just being around the guys? And yeah, What's that like? Um, it's kind of like the same thing every single week after getting a loss after a loss and kind of pretty annoying, so that's why we're pretty happy to get the W. Okay. And you see what Coach says every week, and he's right. Our kids work hard. They play hard. And then just something happens on Friday night, they don't get a W. Back them up there. You guys work hard and you play just like everybody else, do you not? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we definitely work hard during practice. We prepare hard and everything. It's just got to finish during the games and do what we need to do. Mm. Does it get to be a drag? Yeah. I bet. Because you guys want to win. Yeah. Seriously. You put in the time. You're out here in the summer. You're lifting weights. So when you do something like you did Friday, it's that like, okay, this really works, and it paid off. Is that how you felt yeah, a little bit? Yeah, we, we actually see that now that we can win and what we need to do to win. Obviously, our defense needs to pick it up, but okay. we at least know that our offense is there to keep us in the game. Okay. 56-52. Fun. It's like a video game yeah. kind of, right? <laughs> yeah. Back and forth, back and forth. What was it like being in a game like that, just to shoot out a lot of points? It was a thriller. It was it was crazy. I've never been in a game like that. Okay. And just to know that we kept scoring after they would score was just awesome. Mm -hmm. Five touchdown passes. You ever do that? I haven't. I, I threw so. four my previous game that I played, and then I got hurt for the last two. But That's then right. I came back and put up five. Okay. What was going right? Because you were 18 for 20, and you said you might have hit two drops. Yeah. Um, guys were running great routes. I had great protection. A lot of time. Mm -hmm. They were making the plays. Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah, they were open a lot. <laughs> um, you had a pick six, too. Yeah. How cool was that? You get, you, get a, you get a thrill out of that? Is that just as cool as throwing a pass, or what was that like? <laughs> I think that was even better than throwing a pass, especially as about 90 yards. So. Okay. And it definitely it changed the momentum of the game because mm -hmm. we were just down two touchdowns from that point before we returned to kickoff. And then right after that, mm -hmm. pick six, mm -hmm. changed the game completely. Hmm. You say you're down two scores. In the last year and a half, two years, if you're down two scores, that might be the game. Yeah. Why did you guys not quit on Friday? Why did you, why did you hang in and pull that one out at the end? Well, we knew that we could keep scoring on offense. And we just knew we had to stop them on defense somehow. Mm -hmm. So... Luckily, we got the interception. Mm -hmm. Do your uh, do your defensive guys, and you're part of the defense. Yeah. Do you get do you get tired of hearing about it after a while? You see the stats every week yeah. and everything, but does that drive you though to be better and make plays and make stops? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, when you make plays like that, it's a hundred times better because mm -hmm. you know you can make the plays. Mm -hmm. But yeah, our defense, we're getting better. We're getting there. Okay. You're a big school quad A section one team. You have the kids. You have the roster. Um, okay, how cool was it last year to be, um, and I know you shouldn't look at your stats or anything, but the first team all-section quarterback, what did that mean to you last year? That had to be a nice I was, feather in your cap. Yeah, I, I had no idea all season that I was leading or anything, especially at the mm -hmm. end of the season. I didn't know until papers came out and everything, and everyone started telling me. So I was really shocked because mm -hmm. last quarterback I did was, I can't remember, it was a long time from Cedar Crest here. Yeah. And probably Kirsch. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, probably it was Kirsch. Brandon. And it was, yeah, it was Pretty cool. Did that um, did that drive you a little in the summer to yeah, definitely. get better that, that and stay at the top? Yeah, and because I wanted to do the same thing this year. Um, okay, uh, what did you do this summer specifically? Stuff, quarterback stuff. Did you go anywhere? Camps? Yeah. Get um, seen and any of that? I went to a couple camps in Jersey, stuff, and pretty much stuff like just run routes with my receivers after practice and stuff a lot just to yeah. get used to throwing to them and stuff. Okay. Excuse me. Speaking of receivers, Ritter is kind of underrated because everybody kind of knows, you know, Cherry and Burke and yeah. uh, Schlegel at Garden Spots having an unbelievable season. Can you talk about Dalton and what he brings to your offense? Because he had a bunch of touchdown catches and he's making big yeah. plays for you guys. Well, last year he wasn't really that big of a part of the offense since we had Lacardi and everything and mm -hmm. then I thought it was going to be a huge step up for Dalton to fill his shoes, mm -hmm. and he's done an outstanding job. He's doing everything he can. He makes catches. He makes plays. He's doing everything I need him to. Mm -hmm. Reliable. 
reliable guy. You know where he. You know where he's at. It's one of those deals. Yeah. He's kind of like your safety valve guy. You know where he's at at all times. Yeah, just with uh, the very last drive in the Hemfield game, uh, I knew he was one on one in the back of the end zone. So I knew that I could rely on him to get the ball and get the touchdown. Nice. That must have been a cool feeling. Every once in a while, you'll have a game like that where it's just crazy. Yeah. I figured there'd be a lot of points in that. Not 108, yeah, but I figured it'd be, there'd be quite a lot. Um, what do you enjoy most out of playing QB? You're, you're in charge, you're calling the plays, and the whole play starts with you. Does that drive you and motivate you? Yeah, I think it's just the pressure and the thrill of everything kind of falls on you on the offense. Okay. and just the, just the thrill of doing what you can. Uh, hmm. Have you, had you grown up playing QB, no. midgets and everything? No? I only started playing quarterback my ninth grade year. Really? I beat out a kid that played eighth grade. Okay. Did they stick you there? Did they think you could handle it? Or did you say, hey, I'll try quarterback. How'd that go? Um, well, my eighth grade coach actually requested me to play quarterback. Okay. And I didn't really, I didn't play eighth grade year since my first year really playing. And then ninth grade, I beat out the kid that played eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And then, then on, I played JV and then beat out the other kid who was a junior and I was a sophomore and then right. started sophomore or junior year. Wow. You glad you did it? Yeah. Were you uh what what offensive position did you play growing up? Um all over the place. Yeah. Safety, running back, tight end, yeah you know, during midgets and stuff. Okay. You guys run a fun offense. Uh spread spread is the thing now. I mean, unless you're at an old school wing yeah. tee school, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, you you guys spread it out, and you're in the shotgun and all kinds of stuff going on. Do you enjoy that, and do you enjoy kind of trying to master that and knowing the offense and what to run? What's that like for you? I really like the offense just because I know that we're going to score pretty much every game. Mm -hmm. uh, you like being in the gun? Yeah, you like that? Like you like the gun spread better, and yeah. spread out? Spread and out and everything, yeah. It just opens the field up for, mm -hmm. for me and everything more. Okay. Do you like the challenge of reading defenses and where's the middle linebacker and where are the safeties and what what you know what coverage are they in? Do you yeah. get a kick out of that every week, prepping for that kind of stuff? Yeah, because it's a challenge to me and it's a challenge to my receivers to get open. Mm -hmm. and I have to know if they're going to be open or not. Mm -hmm. Did you look up to Gary? Because he did pretty well when he was here and then you yeah, kind of slid actually, into his shoes. He was uh, my neighbor and I grew up with him like, really? my whole life. So. Yeah, I looked up on a bunch. Okay. You guys are kind of similar. You're yeah. the same kind of build. Yeah. You're running the same offense. You, you, you do a lot of the same kind of things. So he was somebody you looked up to yeah. to kind of learn the, learn the ropes a yeah. little bit? Yep. Okay. What's in your iPod right now if you go get it out? Uh, <laughs> um, mostly hip-hop and rap stuff. Yeah? I, don't know. I have a lot of different stuff, too. A little country, I don't know, like old school stuff. Okay. I don't know, I like to mix it up sometimes. Always anxious to, to hear what the kids are listening to these days. <laughs> um, social media? Twitter? Facebook? Facebook. Yeah? yeah? I'm not a big fan of Twitter. Okay. That's still catching on, I yeah. think, a little bit. You're going to yeah. get 140 characters, which I don't <laughs> yeah. understand at all. Yeah. Um, how huge is Facebook with your friends and just getting, you know, getting out there and being in touch with all these people? How important is that to kids now growing up, teenagers? I think that's a huge thing, just uh, to know what people are doing. You can tell people what you're doing. You can see what people are doing. Mm -hmm. It's just a great thing to know what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I think back when I was your age, inter what's an internet? <laughs> <laughs> I would have never yeah. known what an internet is. But nowadays, you just flip on your phone, you flip on your computer, and you're bang. Yeah. It's instant. Yeah. Favorite NFL team? Eagles. Yeah, they kind of saved their season a little there, did they not? It's kind of irritating to watch. Yeah. But I stick with them. Okay. Uh, favorite quarterback? Who do you watch? Vic. Yeah. You like his game? How he tucks yeah. it and gets out of the pocket and runs? It's scary sometimes, but yeah. yeah. I like the way he plays. You're sort of that kind of player, though, because you'll tuck it. Yeah. I mean, you'll tuck it. What's that like when you get out of the pocket and you know that you're fair game? I think that's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Just to uh, make open field plays by mm -hmm. yourself and stuff. Then again, you really can't take the big shots and stuff. True. You don't want to hurt your ankle again. Yeah. No. What else do you do here? Other sports? Basketball and track. Okay. What will you do in track? Uh, triple jump and javelin. Nice. Okay. Do you, like, uh, do you like being involved, doing all the sports? Some kids play one. Some kids play none. Do you like being a three-sport guy and being active and participating? Yeah, it's a lot of work and a lot of commitment, but I like just being active all the time. 
I'm not kind of person that sit at home and do nothing. I like mm-hmm. to get out and be active. I mm-hmm. like competition. Okay. Where are you going to be this time next year? Any clue? Not 100% sure yet. College. Okay. Hopefully football. Okay. Any feelers, letters, calls, tapes? Um, I'm starting to get some tape out. Okay. Um, went to a couple of colleges so far. Name them. Uh, Shippensburg, uh, Bloom. Okay. Yeah. You like that level, PSAC, D2? Yeah, it's a good level. Okay. Uh, DB or quarterback? Probably quarterback. Okay. That's your goal. That's a goal. Seeing how the rest of my senior year goes. Okay, good luck with that.